Yep. All right. So, let us get started. Uh, in the last session, we went. To, you all went to the southern, uh, the southern portion of Draconia, uh, specifically the uh, to uh, the location of Lady Noel, uh, the white uh, dragonborn daughter of Tiamat. Um, you made an agreement with her. Uh, to give her uh, house a lot of influence once you end the war and um, uh, you also made some friends with frost giants uh, and now it is just a few minutes after y'all had been uh, it's just a few minutes after y'all had been let out of the uh, mansion, uh, of Lady Noelle's mansion. Uh, what do y'all do? Oh, and y'all, y'all, y'all got the, uh, signet ring, uh, to signify that she has, uh, she is offering, uh, support. Um, by oh the God. way, was I'll be the, right uh, back. was the white dragon representative named, like, Yuri or Elsa? No, it, it was Noel. Noel, yeah. Noel, Noel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, y'all have just finished your quest up in this p specific part. Uh, and now we're going heading. We're gonna head over to the Blue Dragonborn. Uh, Blue daughter, to your map. Lee pulls out a map and says, "All right, so." Uh, if we're continuing, if we don't want to backtrack, uh, then yes, the blue would be next. Um, Lady Rai, uh, we'll have to. He points to a mountain range and says, "We'll have to pass through the Fangs Vio in order to get to it." Um, it is a massive. It is located in a massive desert. Uh, her town. Um, uh, apparently. Uh, I, I read somewhere that large mountains can uh, stop uh, rain from uh, reaching places, and so that's uh, oh, that's, why, that's why it's desert. Yes, yes. Despite it being such a cold climate here, uh, it may take a little more than a week uh, to get there, uh, since we'll be passing through the Fangs Vio. Uh, should we stay the night or uh, or set out now? Uh, I say the sooner we move, the better. All right. Uh, it is around sunset because Guaki got knocked out and they waited yeah. for <laughs> they waited for you to wake up at the la end of the last session. But uh, it's around sunset right now. Uh, that's sunset when I'm waking up. No, no, uh, no, you had woke, uh, you, you, you got your ass kicked by the, uh, elder giant, uh, yeah. and by the time you woke up, it was, uh, sunset, and that's when you all went to go talk to Lady Noel, and, uh, so it is about sunset right now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. If it's sunset, hmm. I think the faster we do move, the better, but how many days would it take for us to get there? Uh, if we, if we hurry, then it'll take, uh, maybe, uh, maybe eight days. If we take our time, then I guess, uh, a little over two weeks. Okay. Maybe less than two weeks. I I would say we sh I would prefer that we hurry. Okay. Uh. But I think we should probably move tomorrow because it's just sunset now and it becomes difficult for us to travel in the dark right now. Uh. No? Yes, that makes sense. In the dark. I'm sorry. I said I don't know. I thought we didn't have a problem traveling by night. 
if we don't, then yeah, we uh, can just I keep mean, moving. I mean, I doubt we had a problem traveling by night. Uh, well, for like the first few nights, but then it was like I was starting to encourage it at the end. We started to encourage what? Going uh, at night just to be quicker about things. At night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I say we move uh, at night. I say we start getting over there. Um, mm -hmm. I, mean, the, I, I feel like if we were to wait till tomorrow morning, then we would make more pace because if we left now, then we would need to go to bed very soon. And it makes sense to sleep now where we where it's safe in the town than out into the wilderness where anything could happen. Mm, okay. Yeah, but you okay. have just been passed out for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If anything... You wasted a day. That's your fault. <laughs> Wait, me into my... <laughs> <laughs> you could okay. You know what? Fine. <laughs> I, 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 you're right. I accept my responsibility. Uh, and I'm just like I'm just kind of like eh about it, but at the same time it's like it's better to go by night. Uh, All right then. So yeah, I guess we move by night then. We can travel whenever we all want. I'm just saying. Well, like, go. Who's the leader here? I am. Okay, so what are we going to do? Whatever we want. What? What? Do... Test. Test. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna stay and sleep for the night. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right. Uh. There are there's the inn there's an inn that is a li it's very rowdy right now actually uh, you can see a uh, couple of kobolds are uh, standing on each other's shoulder and boxing with a uh, dragonborn inside um, nice yeah uh, and everyone seems uh, drunk um, it seems like from the feel of it, this seems to be a very common occurrence. Uh, uh, as a mining town, there's not much to do other than mining and getting drunk. So, uh, okay, uh, so very much the dwarven way of living, or cobalt. Yeah, uh, really? keeping looking around, you you can gauge that about half the population is cobalt, half the population is uh, dragonborn. Huh. This is nice. Uh, I basically, uh, I basically. Quick, D, like, roll like dex. I said, like at the... Oh, dex. Okay. Yeah, roll the dex. All of us, or just him? Just Steve. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that is going to be a 10 plus. It's a save, deck save. A oh, deck save, so. Yeah, that's going to be 19. Alright, you managed to uh, duck out of the way just in time for a uh, a uh, beer bottle to crash in the wall and crash and shatter against the wall behind you as you're uh, walking in. <laughs> it doesn't seem like anyone was specifically aiming for you. It seems more like you were just uh, it, it seems more like it was just flying in that direction already when you walked in. Okay, um, so guys, uh, what do we say about, like, uh, us, uh, like, if, if we're here to get information, get it as soon as possible, because we don't want to get into a brawl. I thought we were here to take a nap. I mean, <laughs> if, I mean, like, uh, with this sort of company, I mean, if anyone rowdy enough could easily... See, this like, seems like my kind of party. Uh, of course, it would be your I'm type just, of party. I'm too tired to party. I'm... I will advise you to not party, and he uh, uh, gestures to your belly. Fortuna. Right, right. goddamn fucking pregnant recovering alcoholic here. 
Fuck. I just, like, walk away. Like, grumbling. Walk upstairs. Uh, I'm not even gonna, like, pay for anything. I'm just gonna find an empty room. Uh, well, Lee goes, talks to, uh, the, talks to the, uh, innkeeper and purchases two rooms and quickly tosses you the key. Uh, and tells out so there's two rooms which means uh two each uh who are uh, you who do y'all who's bunking where all right um i mean like right now i'm the key on my middle finger wow you stick in the middle finger <laughs> All right. Well, you'll be. I guess. I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, I could be like a sleepy one, like walking. I mean, like. All right, then. Like, I'll share a room like with uh, Moody over there, and gestures to Fortuna. <laughs> oh, you got your own little moniker. That's sweet. <laughs> what? Uh, a little moniker. You know, moody. Well, no, he's <laughs> mostly because, you know, he's kind of rude for her to flip me off. Hey! You know what, how, how, about, how about you stay with Fortuna, Lee? I mean, uh, you want to make this like the most uncomfortable time, I mean, sure. Whatever, whatever plans for Tuna's hands, I can't do anything about it because I'm just gonna fall right to sleep. Huh? What? What? Yeah. I I said whatever plans for Tuna has, I won't be able to. Where, where I gave the where I gave the impression I had plans. Yeah. Well. It's not. I, you may have plans. Quick question: Am I breathing I into my mic right? <laughs> no, no, I don't hear it audibly. At least not through Discord. Okay, because my uh, Discord light keeps my Discord like the light around me keeps blipping up. It uh, doesn't blip for us, so it means it's not transmitting over here. Okay. I don't know. All right. I see it, but um, I don't hear anything. I heard like a tiny twinge of something in your background, but it's mostly covered up by whatever's in Dave's background. Okay. Children. Oh. So, a recording studio, Dave. You really do. Or just a bedroom that you can be in alone. <sighs> Are you ever going to get back into YouTube, my boy? I mean, if I get a, like my if I get a laptop like uh, for myself, like I could easily get myself back on YouTube then. Use the stimulus yeah, check to get a, a laptop. laptop and a. You just need a laptop and like a closet. Yeah. Didn't Matt Pat uh, start his recordings in a closet? I think Matt Pat still records in a closet. No, doesn't he have like he's got like an actual I sound don't, room? I don't like. I don't think he uses big sound rooms for much because I think most of the studio spaces used for like live streams things i think the room that he records in is still technically a closet all right but it's got like the padding and all that i don't know maybe i wish i had padding my room's harsh yeah anywho uh so who's uh who's Dave bunking with uh guacchi or fortuna Dave is bunking with Fortuna. It was obvious from the beginning. I just didn't want to say it. All right, all right. Uh, so, Guaki, as uh, uh, you and Lee share a room, Lee uh, says, "So, how do you feel? You got beat pretty bad." Um, I'm honestly surprised that I even one and all to be honest you know you you can kind of just get upset about these sort of things blame luck blame yourself 
blame someone else, but at the end, uh, all these wins and losses come for a reason, and no need to bother asking why or what I could have done differently. I usually come to just accept the, the reality of things and you know, be fine with that. Mm. So, I can respect that. I, as a, as a, uh, a disciple of Istis, I completely understand uh, going along with the flow of things. Yes. And just accepting just, fate as it comes. Yes. And for me personally, no, nothing, no, nothing else matters than to be alive right now because for me to be alive means that this egg is secured. And this egg security matters more than any challenge someone wants to give me. May I touch it? Oh, sure. He uh, uh, places his hand on it and he can feel Stop. the heart. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> he places his hand on it and says, I can feel its heartbeat. <laughs> I've never actually heartbeat. seen one. Uh, I've never actually seen one in person. It's so big. It's bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. big and spotted. <laughs> Yeah, I'm quite surprised at the size myself. <laughs> I will say these do have thin these this inn that does have thin walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> Diva Fortuna is just hearing this in the in the other room. <laughs> well, that other room is definitely a lot more motherly than even the room with two girls, so there's clearly something wrong with that picture. Y'all would have heard, can I touch it, and it's bigger than I thought, and I feel a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel it throbbing. <laughs> that is further than I would have gone. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to merely uh, whisper to Fortuna, I think that no Quacky was gay. Did you? Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> If I had, I probably would have gone down faster. No. Oh. <laughs> God. I can't even say thank you because I'm not even in the room. Alright, so we, we, we go to bed. Yes, um, you go to bed. I Fortuna bed claims. Quickly. Fortuna just like pushes the bed to get up uh, and then just like uses Deve as a pillow. <laughs> Because uh, currently Deve is very squishy. Not any more than before. I feel like female dragonborns are slightly more squishy. Eh. Maybe slightly I... more thick, but not any. But it's yeah. still mostly muscle. But was Deve already very thick? I I don't know. I'm not gonna make that character decision. I mean, like, for me, I would think, like, it's kind of like the opposite, like, Steve as a guy was very much sort of like a lean built, like, uh, he was more agile because of, like, his normal average body. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Uh, about half your life was spent on, uh, prison food. Yeah. Yeah, very lean. So have you gotten thick now? Oh, uh, I mean, I guess, like, I mean, like, uh... <laughs> Definitely giving me like the pounds, so to speak, down there. Um. So morning comes without issue. You all wake up at around the same time. Uh, good morning, Fortuna. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> ah, fuck! I tried to like turn on. Uh, push the talk, but it was too meh. Meh. So. Uh, never mind about that. Uh, after a uh, quick breakfast, Lee says, "All right, so, uh, everyone ready? We got quite the trek ahead of us." Yeah, especially since we're possibly going through a desert in the morning. Well, we have to get yeah. through... We have to make it to the mountains desert. first. Desert? 
Yeah, the desert the is desert just earth? past the mess, the uh, mountains. All right. Well, when I when we 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 get up from breakfast to leave, I grab myself like two waffles, like three pancakes, four eggs, and like a whole bunch of syrup, and I make myself a sandwich. Yeah, this is a mm. mining town. Uh, yeah, yeah, mining so. towns they have got... diner food. <sighs> Diner food makes sense for a mining town. All right, but it's mostly uh, it's mostly meats, like Flashy. thick meats, because it's also like it's also for draconic. All right, you, eggs, I guess. All right, you get a you grab all that in a to go uh, box, and you go to your wagons. Uh, Betsy has been fed, and is. Uh, and Lee helps load her into the back of the wagon. Um, uh, a quick question. What? Um, uh, is there anyone in the bar at the moment? Like, uh, no, actually, it seems like uh, it seems like people tend to uh wake up before dawn to go to the mines. Hmm. What was that? The it's mostly just the uh, uh, people who work at the uh, tavern. In fact, uh, by the time you wake up and get breakfast, most of the oh. breakfast like it's you're at the tail end of their uh, breakfast. So you're at the tail end of breakfast being served. So it's not as wide a selection as it otherwise would be. Ew. Well, then there probably wouldn't be as much bacon and meats and things. That's yeah. what the miners would have eaten. Yeah, true. Maybe there was granola. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they, there there's biscuits. Granola. There's biscuits. I want granola. Well, they have biscuits. Well, I summon myself a cheese wheel. All and right. I have that. All right, you have a tiny baby bell cheese wheel and some bread. Yes, it's my breakfast. Yes, the uh, the biscuit. All right. Um, um. Okay. Um. Quick question. What's like, that? um, based on what I see, like, uh, do I see like, um, like, 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 uh, what species is the barkeep? Uh, the barkeep is a dragonborn. She is a. Uh, let's make her red. She's a red dragonborn. Hmm. Hmm. I go over to uh to the barkeep yeah. and ask her and ask her a particular question. Something on your mind? What? What? Something on your mind? Uh, yeah. I basically wanted to know um uh. Where do you uh, usually get like garbs for like casual wear when you're not working in the mines, or in this case, like are you working as a barkeep? Uh, well, there's a tailor. Uh, I mean, uh, people's clothes get uh, messed up all the time in the mines, so they keep a good business. Uh, tailor's about two blocks down. Uh, Okay. Why do you ask? Okay. You looking for new clothes, new threads? Mm. I mean, possibly, maybe like something for like a good old uh, wintry colds of the mountains, as it were. Oh, you're going to the mountains, huh? Mm -hmm. Oof. Best of luck. Uh, uh, why, thank you. Uh, yeah. So, you're making a quick detour to the tailor? Yeah, to uh, try to see if I could get some uh, garbs for, like, for the upcoming climb. Alright. Uh, are you saying this to Lee, who has the, is this the only one with money? Or? Uh, yes, right. I go over to Lee and basically ask him politely, Lee, Lee, I... I must know. Is it possible that we can make a quick little detour to uh, possibly uh, thread ourselves with uh, 
garments that will ready us for like the chilling colds that awaits us in the mountains. Uh, oh, we're, we're not climbing the mountain. We're going through the mountains, not over. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, uh, 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 couple. Uh, it was before I was born, maybe oh. 50, 60 years or so. I don't know, but uh, there was a. Uh, uh, they made a uh, path through a tunnel through the mountains. Uh, it's about uh, it's about a day's journey through uh, the mountains. Uh, once it, you're in. Did I ever roll for health? Uh, I don't know. What's your health at? One hundred and fifty-seven. I think that's the same as it's been for a while. Probably. Go ahead and roll. Yay! Okay. Don't worry about it. Go back to your thing. Yeah. Uh, he says, yeah, it's about a day's journey through the mountain, through, uh, through the tunnels. Alright. And I guess we're not going to be really needing, like, a mountain climbing gear, so. Probably not, Let's but go. it would be, it would be good to see if we can get some desert-ready, uh, clothing. Um, that is indeed true. Are we like, just in the desert? No, you're in the no. tundra. No, we're in the tundra. We're currently in the tundra. No, I mean like, like, like I don't know, like a, a month ago. Oh yeah, you were actually. Well, yeah, no, the Feywild, uh, or no, not the Feywild. It was the desert island of the uh, summer Fey. <laughs> But not in the Feywild. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. Okay, so yeah, yeah the you Fey do course. have. Okay, no, yeah, you do have. Uh, you do have desert ready clothes. Mm. Uh, right, it leaves like, yeah. oh, do you. When you uh, say this, Fortuna, it leaves like, oh, do you. Already. Okay, well. I thought it might be. Uh, I think I, I recall that as being like my first uh, shopping spree, as it were. Wasn't that true? I bought Dave a summer dress. Yeah. <laughs> Still have it in here. All right, well, I think it would not be a good idea to wear them when we are currently covered in snow, but uh, once we get through the mountains and in the warmer climate, then that would be the best time to start wearing them. Yeah. We should have, like, clothes for all climates at this point. Yeah... 170. Well, for whatever climates uh, there aren't that you don't have, I'm sure we can have something made uh, whenever the time comes. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Alrighty then, come on. Let's go. Alright. This mountain tunnel's not going to, like, uh, uh, not gonna move by itself. Alright. Unless it will. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Mountains don't move. Well, not since the age of the uh, of the uh, arcanists ended. Oh, no. just like look around. <laughs> like not that long ago. <laughs> well, I mean, is... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think that there's any uh, moving mountains left. Like that was a very particular uh, spell. You not only need a, an Arcanist, but a transmutation one is uh, at that in order to move a mountain. Oh yeah, we know a guy. Oh, of course you do. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's like our catchphrase at this point. It's like, oh yeah, we know a guy. Yeah, you know many that. people. <laughs> so uh, Lee you climbs into people. the back of the uh, wagon uh, with Betsy. Jailed as got a cousin. Uh, and y'all set off. Uh, you are heading west. Uh, it takes a few days uh, before you come up. But, uh, after like the second day, you can start to see the mountains coming uh, through. The snowstorms uh, lightened up a bit, and you can actually see the mountains. They are massive. Uh, as you're actually walking, uh, or as y'all are traveling, Lee says... 
You know, there's a legend uh, about these uh, mountains. They say that they're the uh, things of an old uh, dragon deity, uh, hence their name. Uh, apparently, the father of Tiamat and Bohemet uh, uh, has his final resting place there. Oh, really? Don't say something like that. Oh, you don't. don't you don't like ghost stories. Don't. That is clearly a call to adventure. No. <laughs> well, you know what that Let's means. Go... Uh, I mean, Listen, this is look, like it's family not... business. Obviously, it's not true. It's just a legend to... that the dragons made to hype you know up their own. You know how many times people have said, obviously, it's not true. It's just a legend to us. It's just a win. Look at the size of the... Do you know how big a creature would have to be? In order for its teeth to make that mountain range? Yes. Gods can literally be infinitely big as much as they want to be. That's their thing. Mm. Like, uh, uh, well, even uh, if that wrong. would be more powerful than a god. Even if it's true, it still said the final resting place, which means he's dead. There's probably some fucking necromancer around here who's trying to resurrect him, and we're gonna be caught doing that instead of our fucking job. Wait, you're saying we shouldn't go there? <laughs> you just promise me you guys won't go off the path. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you should uh, promise, uh, Steve. I promise. I mean, we try to, like, hold my, my hands in the back with my claws crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Deeb's a uh, follower of IO. You never split the party. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, technically not a follower of IO yet. Like. Didn't I mean, you? So you had a vision like, where you accepted IO. Uh, in the future. I mean, oh, true. Okay. Yeah, like, well, I mean, like, I wouldn't know, like, the first thing, like, uh, to be, like, as, like, a follower of IO. Like, that's how, like, noobish I am. Like, I know if it existed. You're I know that. <laughs> hey, a noobish. Hey, you're noob. thousand years <laughs> in the past. You could easily start a cult. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should start a cult. <laughs> Don't start a cult. Uh, so, oh <laughs> as you, uh, as you're making your way, you come across a mat, like, as you come closer and closer to the mountains, uh, they are very large, they have, uh, sharp points from what you can see, though, once you're close enough, the, uh, tops are obscured by clouds, uh, and you see a massive hole, uh, maybe 30 feet in radius, uh, and it digs right into it, perfectly smooth. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you actually see you're not the only, uh, caravan that's, uh, making your way, that's going to be making your way through the tunnels. Uh, two or three other different caravans are also taking the same path. Uh, and each one has their own set of, uh, uh, personal protection. I would like to keep an eye out for any necromancers. Uh, it's about noon by the time you come up to it. Uh, Lee says, um, alright, if we, uh, go, we should probably be coming out, uh, most likely... Uh, around noon tomorrow, depending on our speed. So we'll most likely have to set up camp inside. Alright. Uh. Uh, so. What if we camp here, and then go through during tomorrow? Well, I mean, then we'd be probably oh. coming out around sunset tomorrow. Oh. Would you? That might be better. Would you rather camp out here in the open or in there by a wall? You make it sound like I'm being silly. 
Personally, I feel more safe when I'm enclosed, but I've lived my whole life inside a mansion, so I guess I'm a little biased. What about Deev? You lived your whole life in a prison. Do you feel safe when you're enclosed in small spaces? <laughs> I look at Fortuna with like, with like a woman scorn. Just like you're a woman scorned. Hell hath no fury. All right, all right. I just, I simply say like, we're gonna sleep inside. All right. Okay, uh, I'll uh, I'll be back here if you need anything, and he gets back into the back of the wagon with Betsy. As you're making your way through, uh, you it is dark. Uh, you do have to light a torch in order to. Uh, <laughs> navigate through it uh it seems like this is one large uh this is one large tunnel and then every about every mile or so there's a uh another tunnel branching off elsewhere uh you can hear the faint uh clacking of pickaxes every uh uh every time every time we pass a side tunnel i like just like push Deev away from the side tunnel. <laughs> you think Deev? <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to keep that damn thief cat in sight. You don't let that. <laughs> uh, you never let that damn thief out of sight. It after a few hours, it gets really hard to tell time. Uh, but after a while, y'all start to get tired. Y'all get to y'all start to yawn. Uh, this would be the point yeah. where you would either choose to push forward and risk exhaustion or set up camp. I think that's a good time to set up camp. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, hmm. I. It's probably like. Hmm? I don't know, it's probably like 10. Eleven, maybe. So weird to not have any point of reference. He's on first watch. All right. Yep, makes sense. Uh, Steve can take second. I'll take third. Uh, All right. All right. I'll uh, <sighs> I'll take. Uh, uh, let me roll perception. All right. Roll with disadvantage because it's dark. Okay. Can I roll for sleeping, like right now? Roll for sleep. Uh, unfortunately, you are half elf, so you are immune to sleeping spells. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I still have to sleep, yeah. and that sucks. You can, yeah, you go to sleep easily. Uh, sixteen. Uh, you hear the uh, uh, you hear the drip dripping of uh. Hold on, let me just add ambiance. Uh, you hear the drip dripping of uh, uh, water echoing through. You hear uh, like the crackling of a campfire that you can see you. maybe about uh, half a mile down. Uh, these walls, these uh, the walls of this tunnel are very acoustic, and uh, mm. nearly every you could hear a pin drop from. Uh, four miles away, uh, if needed. Uh, but that also means you would easily be able to tell if something was coming. And the night passes without much, or er, the watch passes without much issue. Okay. Diva Drew. Uh, oh. You, did you want to do one more thing? Walker? Oh, no, no, that was it, yeah. Oh, okay. Diva Drew. You there? Yes. It's your watch. Roll perception. With disadvantage okay. because it's dark ah! and you don't have dark vision. Oh. 
Oof. Yeah, that's. Um. You hear nothing. Yeah, that's a nat one. You hear nothing. You hear just. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Absolutely it's nothing. Deafening silence, and you get a a weird feeling from. You get a weird feeling from a, a side corridor God that damn. is just Sharp, outside. Loud sound. <laughs> no, you get you get a weird feeling from a side corridor that is uh, about half a mile away uh, that you had Did passed. Did any of you hear that? Uh, no, D rolled in at one, so he's not hearing anything. No, did any of you hear that fucking piercing sound? No. No. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Deve, even though you don't hear anything, you feel something calling to you from a side corridor uh, that is about half a mile uh, uh, down uh, up the tunnel. <laughs> Someone oh, no. said, oh no, in the background. It sounded so much like you. Yeah, it did. <laughs> was like, did Glocky, like walk away from his mic to say, oh no. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm asleep, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the others are asleep. Uh, I immediately go. Wait, was I supposed to roll for perception or No, something? it's not your watch. Not it's not your watch okay. yet. All right. <laughs> okay, so I, I mainly like uh, take this chance to like uh, wonder about uh, like in search of like that feeling. Guess it's all right. After about yeah. after about fifteen minutes, uh, you come across the uh, uh, side uh, the side corridor, uh, and you see a very faint light uh, deep within it. Hmm. Very faint light. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty deep down in in the tunnel. Mm. Basically, we go on like a a fly fly over to the light. All right. As you uh uh, as you follow the light, the light seems to stay at consistently uh further. Uh, it, it seems to be at a consistent distance out uh. Uh, relative to you and it seems to actually be curving down uh, the path uh, it seems to be curving down this uh, tunnel uh, and making many twists and turns after about uh, an hour of chasing it you finally managed to uh, you finally managed to uh, reach it uh, it seems to be. It seems to have landed on, uh, in a uh, circular chamber, uh, and as far as you can tell, it's just a regular firefly. But you get a strange feeling from this chamber. <sighs> Alrighty then. I go in there and try to see if, like, if there's like any presence like before me. Like anything to talk like at first, like trying to think of like my head. Is there anyone around? Uh, do you mean like physically or, or mentally, spiritually? Mentally, like, like trying to say it spiritually, yeah. Uh, roll religion. All right. This is the first time for a religion roll. You've rolled religion before. Uh, uh, you, you don't know what, you definitely feel something, but you don't know what it is, you just know that it is nearby, and that there's more to this, and it's telling you that there's more to this room than it seems. Dave? Is it just really silent? 
Oh, yeah, I, um, I thought I disconnected. Yeah. It feels really weird when everything's really silent. <laughs> hey, now you know what like, happened. Oh, no, now something happened yeah. with Discord. Now you know how it feels when Deeb rolls the nat 1 on perception. <laughs> Uh, so, Deev, you get the feeling you there is definitely something here, but you don't know what it is. You don't know where exactly it is. All it's telling you is that there's more to this room than meets the eye. Okay. Uh, I then try to, like, um, <clears throat> try to investigate the room. All right, roll investigation. This time it's a roll that I'm actually proficient at. So... Yeah, let's do this. 17. All right. Uh, as you're investigating this room, uh, as you're investigating this room, uh, you follow the, uh, you actually look, start with the uh, firefly and the uh, wall that it's landed on. Uh, brushing off the wall, you can see very, very faintly there seems to be a hole. Uh, there seems to be a hole, uh, very small, maybe about, uh, maybe about the size of a quarter. Size of a quarter. Yeah. Or a penny, a about the size of a penny. Okay. Um, I try to, uh, look inside of the hole. Alright, roll perception to see what you can see. Six. Uh, it's too dark to tell anything. You should use a flashlight. <laughs> you don't have a flashlight. And also, Gwaki, you're asleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm thinking... Okay. Hmm. Would be something good. Do I even have anything ut utility in my arsenal? No, no, no. And that maybe if I'm familiar for like some sort of like owl familiar, because they probably have dark sight, a uh, dark vision, so I can see through them. I think I'm gonna try to cast a uh, find familiar to uh, create an owl familiar. All right. Uh, are you make? Are you doing it? All right. So how long? How long is that? Ten minutes. Uh, I think it was either ten minutes or an hour. Uh, That's usually the boring part. What find familiar? Hold up. Yeah, it's one hour. Yeah. All right. So you're using find familiar. Yeah. Do you to, have uh, the Do you have the incense? Incense. Uh, the material components? I don't think so. That's... that's a, well, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, this is a... I'll say you would, probably. Uh, it's just car, uh, tin golds worth of uh, charcoal, incense, and herbs. So uh, I'll say that since you did collect herbs earlier, and this is a coal mine, you can find... like it, it's, Charcoal? Yeah. It, you, you can find enough to substitute it. Yeah, so. yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good workaround, yeah. All right. I can definitely see that happening. An hour passes, and you, and uh, from the uh, uh, burnt uh, things, the things burned, uh, a green owl uh, spreads its wings and looks at you. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> hello there, uh, familiar. Um, I hope um, you could uh, lend me assistance here. I need to peer through that uh, to that eye hole. Mind just staring inside of it? Uh, the owl does. Roll investigation uh, with the owl stats. Let me see the owl stats right now. Uh, they have a minus four to intelligence. Oh. Actually, roll perception. Uh, actually, um, because that's a plus three. It's a plus three for perception. Yeah. Oh. Owls have low intelligence. Well, they have high wisdom. Yeah. Mhm. Mm 
Huh. And they have advantage on, yeah, on perception. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they have keen hearing and sight. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I need, so that's why I called upon it now. Come on. 22. Okay. All right. Yeah. Roll again just to, just to see if you can get a nat 20. If it does happen, then it's up to me. Oh, wow. Eight, 19 and 18. Those are really good. Uh, peering through the owls, you close your eyes and uh, see through the owl's senses, uh, and you mm -hmm. can find this is a keyhole. It's some sort of keyhole. Oh. Uh, keyhole? Yeah. Huh. Very peculiar. But why would some sort of cave have a keyhole unless this isn't really like a natural part of the cave? So I'm okay. I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna use thieves tools on this thing. All right, roll thieves tools. Do you have a uh, proficiency or expertise on it? I don't have either. You do. You're a thief. You have proficiency. Yeah. You have at the very oh. least proficiency. You literally start with proficiency. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, oh yeah. okay. 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 Yeah. I was... Then I don't have expertise. That's the thing. Okay. Checking out my proficiency stuff for the moment, and yeah, it is that high now. Eleven. <laughs> All right. Uh, you try to uh, get through it. You can feel the tumblers. It it, it feels weird though. Uh, you aren't able to crack it uh, after about uh, ten minutes of trying. Uh, Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, never mind, oh. never mind, like, uh, I forgot something. What? Re reliable talent would actually come into play here, since I rolled a 5. That's, I could treat the roll as a 10, so that makes it 16. Okay, 16, uh, after about, uh, after about half an hour you f of keeping at it, you, you feel a click. Uh, and slowly turn your thieves tools. Uh, to unlock whatever this is. And as you do, mm -hmm. once it's unlocked, you see a light appear on the wall next to it. It, uh, it starts as just a few dots, but then they snake around, creating an intricate, uh, a very intricate, um, uh, doorway of glowing light and the uh uh and the uh, entrance of it uh though it was just stone uh crumbles away to reveal a uh, new chamber of uh some sort of stone that is different from uh, the kind you're standing on mm. Alright. This is very peculiar indeed. I I I cautiously like um like 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 look over like look over through the owl's eyes to see if I could locate any traps with um with with the owl's eyes. Alright, roll investigation to try and find traps. Okay, okay. If it's investigation then I'll just use my Oh, nice. All right. Uh, the weird thing, though, is it's not dark inside the thing. It, oh, okay. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is very alarming. Twenty-five. Yeah. You find no traps at all. All right. I enter. I enter the uh, lit chamber. All right. As you uh, enter the lit chamber, uh. You go. The lit chamber. <laughs> you uh, uh, follow the corridor down into a circular room with a light shining down from above onto a pedestal. And on this pedestal, there is what looks like a. Uh, what looks like. At first, you th it seems like it's some sort of uh, shiny white rock uh, car carved in the shape of like a, a teardrop 
with a, a dark with a darker portion on the base like a, a darker material on the uh, uh, at the base of it uh, that is what it looks like uh, let me draw a picture to show you uh, but it, it's made of a, a, a smooth white material sort of like porcelain uh, and it is in the shape of a, a teardrop Time to scream. Uh, it's time to scram. Oh, scram. Time to scram. Alright, here is very roughly what this stone looks like. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Looks like a teardrop. Okay. Yes. I I go ahead and like uh, uh behold it in my hand to look at it closely. Uh okay, roll investigation on it to try and figure out what it is. My guess is right now is that this is a possible tooth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, Fortuna, you, you don't roll investigation. Uh, so you uh uh, you are able to identify this is indeed a tooth, a very uh, it is. It's about the size of a basketball at its thickest part, um, and it radiates with draconic energy, an energy that uh, tingles in your hand and uh, feels familiar. Mm. Wow. This is such a beholding find. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it is you, Io, that's like granted me such an artifact. As you say the name Io, the chamber pulses with a, a brilliant light. Oops, I said the magic word, didn't I? In a, in a very, in like a, a spectral form, uh, through the through some carvings on the walls that were previously unseen, uh, that had uh, become illuminated with that pulse of light. A the spectral form of a, uh, a sleek dragon uh, starts to crawl out of the wall, and its white its eyes are pure white. Uh, and looking closer, this dragon is shimmering in a rainbow of colors. It's not a white dragon. It's a dragon of uh, many colors. All, uh, all mixing into this brilliant light, and he uh, just presses his uh, talon to your forehead, and you wake up in that previous chamber that you were at, the dark one. Uh, in your uh, hand is the uh, fang, and you, uh, your owl familiar is perched on a rock next to you. The doorway and the lock are nowhere to be seen. Well, well then, that was, uh, that was certainly a trip. I wonder what he wants me to do with this. Like, maybe talk with him or something else, maybe use this a power to like uh, try to help with the oncoming threat in the future because if so I mean I don't know what to turn this thing into in order to be to be a benefit but hey I'll just ask the guys um, I'm quickly head over back over to like the campsite all right I'm retracing my steps when you get back to the campsite you can see that both Lee and Fortuna are uh, sitting by the campfire. I turn to Deve and I just go, 
What did I tell you? Your watch ended about an hour ago. Steve. Yeah. Steve, 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 Steve. What did I tell you? You basically told me to like uh, not to not stray away from the from the party. And what did you do? Yes. I strayed away from the party. See, I was corner. giving you the benefit of the doubt, Fess. I thought maybe you just had go to, to go the to corner. the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I just like point at like a tiny corner carved out of the wall. Go corner. It's the corner wait. made by the wagon <laughs> leaning up against the wall. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we do any sort of disciplinary action, if you must know why I did all this, I felt a weird calling within the cave and I ventured into it. And what I came across is this nice little tooth here. Apparently, it's the apparently it's an artifact that uh, an artifact of the father of of, of Bahamut and Tiamat. Oh, so it wasn't just a legend. Silver, can I just know? <laughs> can I just know what I know? I mean, it. Yes. I would be able to like sense the magic, right? Like, uh, you could probably, uh, you could probably, uh, you have a spell to identify things, don't you? Do I? Did I retake identify? Did I ever take identify? Well, I mean, you could during this long rest. Like, you can swap out spells. Oh, I do have identify. Okay, fine. I'll use I'll d identify. Waste a spell slot. All right. This is a thing of Io. It has a lot of draconic energy radiating from it. Radiating from it. Uh, it's yeah. No. Okay. So, Dave. Dave. Yeah. What are you doing with the crown? The... Uh, oh. <laughs> what crown? That would make a very weird looking crown and I've seen many crowns in my lifetime it does oh my god this is the past this is literally the crown before it got made into it yep I literally heard a thing calling from Ayo and I and he apparently granted me this I mean to be fair I guess it makes sense but I always wondered whose tooth it was didn't we think it was Bahamut's though at first, he thought it was Bahamut's because it was just stated that it was the uh, fang of a uh, powerful dragon deity. But then uh, later, uh, it was uh, later Lucius confirmed that it was actually the fang of uh, Io when he was uh, tell when he was teaching Deeb about the parents of Bahamut and Tiamat. Yeah, so we have the components of the crown. We're gonna have to get that made too. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. So now, go to the corner. Alrighty then. Like, <sighs> man, I'm just here like discovering like stuff, but I get it. Yeah, me. You it. Uh. <laughs> all right. I'll say that was since you did roll perception. I'll say that's what was your watch. <laughs> if you want to, I can roll perception again. If... Nah, that was yeah. pretty much the only thing I had planned for uh, this night. All right. Uh, so, uh, it would have been hilarious if Dave didn't get it. <laughs> you assume that uh, day. You assume that uh, it's daytime because you all awaken uh, refreshed and uh, uh, feeling. Yeah, yeah, I get my spell slot back. Not tired. Uh. Technically, since you had last watched, that should have counted for. Uh -huh. But I, I won't, I won't do that. Besides, you'd get a long rest before you get to the destination, anyways. Uh, so you, yeah. you make your way further down the tunnel, and you finally see the a light, a very bright light, uh, as well as feeling the heat of, uh, uh. Uh, a warm wind blowing in uh, the stone beneath your feet uh, starts to turn to sand uh, as you make your way out the sun is very bright 
and you can see the uh, uh, waves of heat uh, rising from the uh, sand as you are in a magnificent yellow desert uh, with clear blue skies and nary a cloud in the sky. Yeah. Cool. Not a single Desert. cloud in the sky. Alright, let's cross this desert. <laughs> Hope there's no temples in it. Uh, as you uh, make your way through, uh, making sure to put on your desert clothes, uh, <laughs> after... Uh, so I'm shirtless then. Yeah. Eventually, you no, you no, you should put your shirt back on. Oh, gives me fire resistance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you make your way. Although you do have your vest, so. Well, that's true. You make your. I bought you that vest. <laughs> As you're uh, walking through, uh, uh, leaves you like, <laughs> ugh, this t constant change in climate is messing with my sinuses. It's it's dry. Yes, and we just came from a very cold, wet place. Yeah, so it should be getting better now that we're in the dry place. Eh, I think it just caught something out the tundra. Ah, uh, anywho, uh, that uh, village right there, or uh, I quote unquote village, uh, and he points off in the distance. You can see this magnificent uh, uh, city uh, with alabaster walls. Uh, nearly everything is uh, has gold, uh, intricate gold uh, engravings uh, that the sun shimmers off of. The city is almost blinding to look at, and it's not helped by the fact that the tallest building has some sort of massive gemstone that is just constantly glaring the light off of it. Uh, it can be seen from miles away. This is such a decadent looking uh, place. Uh, and eventually you make your way to its walls. Cool. Uh, as you do, you can see the armor is the armor of the local guards are uh, are beautiful silver with uh, uh, gold trims, and it seems even from the outside you can tell like it seems like every single person in here is just absolutely uh, just gaudy and flashy. Like, your clothes from the Feywild look humble compared to these. Like, or, it wasn't the Feywild. Your clothes from the other place uh, look humble compared to this. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, your, your desert clothes look humble compared to... To be fair, mine was meant to look humble. Ah, oh, true. In a flashy way. Yeah. It's like a plain white. But now dress. it no longer looks flashy. Mm -mm. Like it, it, it looks very drab compared to everything else here. Uh, the gates, people. the gates are open. One of the caravans that you've been uh, uh, that entered before you enters the uh, uh, place. Uh, it's just one of the caravans that was making the uh, trip through the same road that you did, uh, and you. Found and you find yourself in this. Uh, uh, you find yourself in this uh, uh, beautiful desert city. Ooh, yeah. so pretty. Yeah, Hot. there's a market selling like uh, gemstones, gold. uh, circlets, uh, jewelry, uh, gold uh, embroidered silks uh, like this is the and there's a long line leading out through the uh, 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 largest building there's a, there seems to be a long line leading out of the largest building kind of remind giving me or vibes leading of, into uh, it breath of the wild that desert area uh, the Gruta town yeah uh, imagine that, but, like, a thousand times much more, uh, uh... Bustling. 
bustling and uh, uh, extravagant. Oh, okay. Opulent. Excessive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a long line. Like nervous? There's a long line leading out through the, uh, uh, leading up to the, uh, largest building. Okay. I guess we better get in line. Yep. Or, well, we should get in line. Alright, alright. Guess I have to do everything. Uh, yep. Roll perception real quick. Any of us? Yeah. Um, or all of you if you want. None of us. You can only no say one, that in a... No one rolls perception. <laughs> 29. Uh, oh, Fortuna, you, you immediately pick up on this. Uh, the line consists of uh, two, like, like, it's almost like two lines immediately next to each other. It, it seems like the line consists of uh, couples of people, uh, like groups of two, uh, okay, as they're we'll, waiting. We'll have to find out what this is. Can we, like, ask someone in line what's going on? Sure. Uh, the people in line are, uh, two Dragonborns, uh, two Dragonborn males. Uh, oh shit, Deve got a nat 20. Uh, Deve, you actually know what this is. You've heard about this in, a uh, uh, you've actually heard about this, uh, uh, it's something that, uh, that your mother told you about once when you were a child. Uh, it's something she said she wished she could have done. Anywho, the uh, a person says, the, uh, the person looks at you and says, oh, uh, it's two dragonborn males uh, standing next to each other, uh, each one wearing a very, very fancy uh, necklace. And he, one of them says, oh, you must be new here. Uh, uh, well, uh, everyone here is trying to receive blessing from, uh, from Lady Rye. Blessing? Yes. Why would she have the power to give blessings? Well, I mean, we can't get married without her blessing. Oh. Oh. That's really no. nice for you two. <laughs> you two Doesn't sound like the line we need. Uh, Is there another line? Uh. Hmm. <sighs> Well, this is, if you want to wait, uh, it's, uh, if you want to wait about four days, the line will return to normal. We're just at the, uh, week of the choosing, uh, week of the blessing. Every two months, she spends an entire week, uh, uh, deciding whether or not, uh, people have her blessing to get married. A lot of work. Why would she do that? Well, that's why she puts it off until, uh, it's why she puts it off until designated days, otherwise, uh... Why would you, but, okay, why would you need her blessing to get married? We can't get married without a blessing. It's, Who decided that? It's tradition. How long of tradition? Older than me. It can't, it can't be that long. Who was it before her? Her husband. What? Her husband. How old's her husband? Uh, older than me. <laughs> Is her husband like a dragon or something? Yes. Is he around? Yes, he's up there with her. And he points to the large building they're waiting to get into. Let's do it. <laughs> listen, it, if you just... It's one of the core tenants to... Listen, it, it's this way because it allows for her to focus on other things whenever it's not this week. Uh, put we, It's makes things more streamlined to put all this off until uh, designated days. Uh, good thing comes good things come to those who wait. 
as we've all like chosen anyone else like to do this as a duty for her well no it has to be her why well because she's our leader <laughs> why why wait <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave as Dave as he's saying this with that uh, 20 uh, you remember uh, after your mo your mother had uh, told you that uh, some cultures uh, uh, allow their leader to give blessings on marriages, which you now now you now know she said she wished she could have done that because her uh, her she never would have gotten married to your father if she went through this kind of th uh, decision. Their blessing they never would have received a blessing. <laughs> But uh, you also remember reading stuff about this uh, uh, similar stuff from the... Why did his mom tell him when he was like five? Would you... Okay, would you... If you had a kid, would you tell them that you would leave their father at a moment's notice when they were a child? No, that's why I'm confused. No, she didn't say that. She's in hindsight. That's what it means. But in, she just said that in some cultures, uh, the in some cultures, uh, they need permission permission from the uh, uh, whoever's in charge of the community in order to they need to receive the blessing in order to marry. Uh, that's what she had told Dave when Dave was a kid. Now in hindsight, Dave would be able to realize. Oh. She was probably saying that because she knows that uh, any sane leader would not have given the blessing. It's very confusing. Uh, anywho, uh, as I was saying, you, uh, Dave also remembers. Uh, Dave will also remember reading something about this in uh, Doctor Aegon's uh, Book of Dragons. You know, the uh, incomplete guide to dragons. Or whatever the oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Is. Who has that book again? Fortuna. I remember when I hear it. Fortuna's oh. got a side I have a small copy. library in my pocket. You do. You have, <laughs> and half the books are signed. <laughs> nice. Uh, signed first editions. Yeah. Well, mm, one of them's a signed first edition. Yeah. One of them's like a fourth edition. Doctor Aegon's is like a fourth edition. Yeah, but those aren't the kind. Those isn't that isn't the kind that has editions that become less valuable as time goes on. As time goes on, the earlier editions of that kind of thing become less valuable because. They don't have as much yeah. information. Yeah, it's consistently called an incomplete guide because she's un like she does it not. It gets updated. Yeah. Rather than so the newer ones are more valuable rather than the older ones. Yeah, it's like college textbooks except actually adding new stuff. <laughs> Instead of just changing the page numbers slightly to annoy everybody or rewording things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, y'all remember reading stuff about that in her book. Book out. All right. Uh, flipping to the play page of Blue Dragons, you can find that uh, uh, Blue Dragons have a very, uh, they're very sociable. They have, uh, they have a social, uh, uh, they're vo very social creatures. They have. A hierarchy uh, that is very complex, uh, but typically the oldest would be uh, the leader, and uh, they tend to have monogamous uh, relationships, which uh, essentially dragons, blue dragons, will give gifts out to many other blue dragons and uh, whichever person gives the most gifts uh, w tends to be who's chosen as the life partner and oh. once the li once the life partner is chosen they flaunt all the gifts uh, and seek out their leader to gain permission to uh, become life partners 
Uh, and uh, the other thing that it notes is that they have high patience. They will wait, f uh, like they will wait things out uh, for as long as it needs to be to accomplish the task. And it seems like, uh, based on what was told, uh, it seems like uh, this particular society had been ruled by a blue dragon, and the blue dragon has imparted its customs onto the society. Do we have to be asking for marriages to like be like go and talk or what? Uh, no. Uh, but uh, it's going to be the main focus for the next few days. Is there like a guy holding a sign saying, like, the line is now two days long from here? <laughs> no, no. It, the line actually seems to be moving fairly fast. Uh, it seems like it'll be maybe three hours, three or four hours uh, before it comes to your turn. Uh, but it's, cool. it seems... Get married to Guaki. There we go. Aww. I mean, it's not that simple. You can't just, I mean, you haven't even given a, a gift. And uh, the, the Dragonborn flaunts his uh, uh, necklace. <laughs> gift? Yeah, it, it, to show... Uh, one says, uh, it's hard to explain to outsiders. Uh, you see, uh, we give gifts to show that we are interested in being life partners, and it, like, come on, you, I mean, I've heard that other societies, uh, give things that, uh, their fiancés will wear to show that they're to be wed. I mean, it can't be that strange. Life yeah. partners. Marriage! You mean, like, forever? Yes! That's... That's, that's silly. That's not. That's a really long time. Yeah, and who better to spend it with than the person you care about the most? And he, uh, uh like, like, holds if his fiancé's hand. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but at a certain point, you're gonna get bored. No, we're not. Most people would. Eventually. Yeah, I guess it's just a human thing. I like to think that, like, elves and fae well, they don't, don't know, get married they, permanently because they live for hundreds of years. They don't know <laughs> you're an you're, They don't know you're part elf, yeah, not, no. though, because of the mask. But still, I would just be like, what? This just sounds so ridiculous, living for, like, so long and then... Yeah, I don't no, think yeah. it would make sense. And I want to spend every second, or I want to spend every moment of it with the person I care about the most. That's why we're hoping that she gives her blessing and doesn't deny us. So she denies you. If she denies us, then we will just uh, seek out others. So you're not even gonna stay together. Well, I mean, she's not gonna if she denies us she's gonna she's not gonna suddenly change her mind because your monarch decides it you're just gonna end your relationship together even though you felt that we'll still be friends you were if, that important if that happens we'll still be friends this sounds like a lot of hullabaloo well, whatever you're talking about sounds like all that hullabaloo. I mean, it would be horrible to be alone for your entire life. No, you should never be alone. Exactly. That's why we. Ha that's why we have our life partners. You should just spend but life with people. Yes, and I'm going to. S and I plan on spending it with the one I love. And he's holding his fiance's hand. Uh, they both. Uh, like okay, see objectively, 
they are adorable. But in character, Fortuna does not make, <laughs> does not understand any of this. Alright. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're just like, well, I, it's just, mm, let's just focus on the future. Because uh, I get the feeling it's not going to go anywhere with this person. And they uh, turn around and start ignoring you. Uh, so are you that, get... There goes the like three hour long conversation <laughs> I was planning. Now you get to uh, experience what it's like to be on an airplane. Three hours not talking to the person nearby. <laughs> Oh, now yeah. I get to experience what it's like to be ignored by gay people. <sighs> uh, they uh, it's a lot more. It's a lot more pleasant than being ignored by straight people somehow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, so if about three hours goes by. You're finally uh, after about two and a half hours. You're finally inside. And then after another 15 minutes, you're finally in the throne room. You can see her. Uh, she is a blue dragonborn uh, dressed in a beautiful white silk uh, with several jewels all up and down her arms. Uh, her horn is uh, decorated and she is currently sitting on – she is currently sitting uh, with her arms uh, splayed out uh, around the neck of her – like she's basically lounging using her uh, husband's uh, neck as a uh, uh, backrest. Uh, her husband is a large uh, blue dragon uh, with uh, th his horn has a matching uh, jewelry, although much larger than hers. Uh, and uh, he uh, he is just. Uh, uh, watching as she's she's just like uh, going like yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, and that's and as she does the couples are moving like she's only giving them a second at most before deciding, and fortunately the couple in front of you do receive the blessing. She says yes, and then it's your turn. And right. she, uh, she just, uh, how are y'all standing, by the way? I'm just, like, uh, walking. Yeah. Oh, a quick question. What? Like, uh, oh, like, uh, I was, like, sort of, like, disconnected from the call. Oh. Like, uh, uh, you are, yeah, like, you are inside the throne room. Uh, her husband. We spent the last, like, three hours being ignored by a gay couple. <laughs> yeah. The gay couple got the blessing, though, so they're gonna get married. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so are y'all standing all shoulder to shoulder, or is it, like, two sets of two? Um, I think it would be funnier if it was two sets of two with Waki and Lee being next to each other, meanwhile. Well, you two are, uh, at the front. Alright, she sees you, she sa Fortuna and Dave, she sees you and she just says, uh, yes, and waves her hand. And then waves her hand Wait again. <laughs> Next. Next. Do you want me to rescind? Do you want me to rescind my blessing? Um, maybe. But first of all, we need to talk. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. What? Uh. Come as representatives of the coast. We need your help. You need my help. Uh, we sort of like uh, need your approval on a uh, on a plan to like uh, basically assist like um <clears throat> the other daughters of TMI. Mm. My sisters. How many yeah. have you spoken to? Uh, oh, two of them so far. No, okay, so we need your help because currently we are trying to stop this war and help everybody involved. However, the issue is that we need the support of all of the major leaders in the, um, in, the um, in Draconia to support this. 
Yeah, uh, your sisters uh, being the rest, obviously. We, we spoke to Uru and Noel. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm She uh, smirks and just said, So, good things come to those who wait. And, uh... She, uh... Holds out her hand and the... Everyone behind you starts, uh... Sh being shuffled out by the guards. And she says... What? I'll reopen in a moment. They can wait. Uh... And you just, like look behind us, like at all the disappointed people. They're not disappointed. Uh, they stay in their position in line. The line is just <laughs> they just walk backwards. Well, the entire line well, walks. No, backwards. no, they get out like the uh, the fucking uh, velvet dividers to uh, basically make a detour line uh, to make a detour for the line to uh, be to go back. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> just to at the door. And so, uh, the doors close behind and says, All right, so, first things first, I need you to get something for me. Of course. Uh, All right, what is it? Uh, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, it was, ta oh. it was taken by a thief, and they ran out in the desert. Uh, and she gestures to the east. Yeah, she gestures to the eastern part of the desert. Uh, okay. And she said, or the northeastern part of the desert. And she says, if you can retrieve it for me, then you will have my support. Anything else? Uh, nope. All right. The thief. All right, um. Yes. The thief stole it uh, about two days ago, so just travel in that direction until you find them. All right. Understood. I guess we'll oh, get going. Oh, right. oh yeah. Well, um, one last thing, Aria. Um. Oh, what about those two? You think you know they're no? Uh, they have. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, who are you gesturing to? Are you talking about Lee and Gwaki? Yes. She is. She is. Uh, she says, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hit uh, Dave on the head with a, with, with, with a newspaper as we walk out. <laughs> uh, Fortuna, I had to know. Like, seriously. Uh, <laughs> as you walk out, the doors open in, the, pe the line goes back, shuffles back to its uh, original position, and uh, okay, but don't expect a fucking shotgun when I back. And uh, you make your way out. What's a what's a sh what's a shotgun? You know, shotguns are invented. Weapon guns are about eighty. Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss weapon. They're uh, bl blunder blunderbuss wedding. <laughs> okay, flintlocks are invented. So yeah, no, I guess it would be a blunderbuss wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Or a cannon wedding. <laughs> Just aim a cannon at their back. <laughs> uh, so, uh, y'all are heading to the desert, into the desert. Yep. No reason to delay. All right. Uh, as you go through, um, as you go through. Uh, you're gonna have to leave the uh, wagon in the town because it's gonna be going off the path. Does that mean they're leaving the goat? Uh, Lee helps. Lee pays for the stable, marks it down in his ledger, uh, and you all start heading out. Uh, about. Uh, by the time it gets night, uh, and y'all set up camp, uh, y'all don't have many clues as to what you're looking for, or where to find it, but she was confident that if you go straight, you'll come across it. So, what, uh, who gets first watch? I do. Alright. I think Lee is gonna join you, just to make sure that you don't wander off this time. Alright. Roll perception. With advantage. Thank you, Owl. 
Well, I was saying for the, uh, uh, because Lee oh. is with you. Actually, I'll roll for Lee. You get advantage for your owl. Yeah. So. Is the owl still around? Yes. yes. Do you mean we don't, we didn't just forget him the way we usually do familiars? No, the thing was the last familiar I summoned was the raven, and look what happened when I actually brought the raven out. I summoned my fairy dragon. Oh shit, Lee got that what Lee is asleep. Lee is immediately asleep because he rolled a nat one. Oh my god. Lee, if anything bad happens, do not blame it on me. You still have advantage. Come on. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Uh, nothing. Nothing major happens, though. You do feel a slight tremor uh, that uh, quickly goes away. Uh, who has second watch? Uh, it should be for two. All right, Fortuna, roll perception. Before I uh, before I go to rest, I tell Fortuna, Lee was sleeping on the job. I got twenty-two. Jesus, uh, in the distance, about uh, in the distance, you see a uh, cloud of sand, like shooting up through the sky, or shooting. Uh, uh, but it is very far away, uh, too far to actually make out what's causing it. You just notice that sand just shoots from the ground. All right, uh, Gwaki, you have final watch. Mm -hmm. Ten. Uh, you don't notice anything. Nothing of note happens. No. The sun rises. No. You have breakfast. And set forth once more. As you do, though, you the tremors start to become more frequent. Everyone now... Roll perception. Just regular perception. It does not. Uh, just. Uh, no advantage. Just standard. Uh, okay, I'll, ju I'll just look through the owl's eyes because the owl has better eyes than I do. R slash. Gwaki. You typed it wrong. Uh, oh, I did. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, thing? You typed it. Uh, you, no, typed you did R slash, not slash R. Yeah. Alright, so. right, there we go. Alright, the only one who notices this is for Chuna. Oh, wait, I should roll. Oh. For, I should roll for Lee. Mm hmm. Yeah, the only one who knows is this is Fortuna. Fortuna, uh, you feel a really bad tremor, and you manage to duck out of the way as uh, something bursts through the ground. You manage to realize what's going on in time to duck out of the way, uh, while the others don't. Uh, something bursts through the ground. It is large. It is long. And it is purple. Could it be? Everyone roll initiative. Oh gosh. It's an old man of the desert. Like I said, like ten minutes ago. What? It's the old man of the desert. I don't... Oh, that should be a plus. That should be eleven. What are we rolling? Initiative. Initiative. Oh, okay. 13. Let's see, 11, 14, 
13 and 22. Right, it's funny how we all have the same dexterity, but our our pluses are different. <laughs> yeah, I'm the baseline initiative. You guys get stuff to add to efficiency and or like and let me, ability I need to lock. roll for the worm. Seriously though, it, it, it's a it's a sandworm. It's the old man of the desert. Uh, well, no, not a sound worm. Or it could be, or or we could make Beetlejuice references if you want instead. Did anyone call Beetlejuice? Well, you're talking about the uh, Saturn worms. All right, they're saying worms too. Yeah, but it's on Saturn. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I'm. I just, like it, it's a sandworm. It could be any sandworm. Mm. There are a lot of sandworms in media for yeah. some fucking reason. For There's like five. Fortuna, There's also the, the the worms from Tremors. Fortuna, it's your turn. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So it's my turn. Yes. Fuck it. Or are you just gonna fireball? No, no, I'm gonna do something way more immediate. You gonna try and polymorph it? Yep. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> A wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, you try to polymorph it, but you immediately <sighs> feel it. like not only does it not work, but it seems like. It, your attempt to polymorph it uh, is affecting, like there's something preventing it from being polymorphed, uh, and it almost hurts to try. Like you try to polymorph it, and then a spark of energy like just goes backlash. Uh, so you decided to make the goddamn thing. No, it's not a shape. Anti -magic. No, no, it doesn't have anti magic, but there is something in it that is uh, preventing it from being polymorphed. Uh, I will say that because it you it refused to be poly or it couldn't be polymorphed. I'll say that you still have your action, like it was the start of the spell that where you realize it didn't work. So you still have an action. Fortuna. Just trying to figure out if this makes a saving throw, but it doesn't make a saving throw. I okay. cast Irresistible Dance. Uh, let's see. Ah, I need to see. I know it is. It's like a Wisdom saving throw. No. Yes, but only on its action. Does it get that? Because it's. Irresistible Dance is way more fucking scary than I remember. I always forget about how scary Irresistible Dance is. So it doesn't get a wisdom saving throw until its own action. And for now, it is wiggling. Uh, Doing the worm. Hold on. I need it. I'm trying to figure out if it's immune to charming because it's got one intelligence mm. well it doesn't say so it's gonna fucking all right I guess it's uh what's well, so basically you're just it's just gonna keep it from wait no let me double check uh... manage on dexterity saving throws yeah, and attack roll. And it's not going to be so. You just got you just pr stopped it from being. Space. Yeah, you just stopped it from being able to burrow down and escape. Yeah. All right. Uh, it is now. And, it gets, and everybody has advantage against it. And uh, it can and it has to take up an action of its own to make a wisdom saving throw to regain control of itself, or it can try to attack, but it would have a disadvantage on that attack. Alright, it is going to... Well, right now it's Deve's turn. Yeah. 
Your turn, Thief. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cast Sleet Storm on the battlefield. Sleet Storm? Really? Why? What does that do? Uh, Deep, it, Deep. it makes Why? thing it makes things prone whenever they fail a. I I will Deep. say this thing is bigger we than. Already, yeah, Deep. we already have a de advantages. Yeah. When Why? Attacking it. I I will say this thing is uh this thing is uh tall like forty feet. Oh wait, radius. Uh, this thing is fifty feet long, by the way. Uh, what? This thing is, uh, uh, I think it's 50 feet long. Mm. Either way, we don't have to... Yeah, you could just attack it straight up. Okay, I mean, like, I mean, that's more preferable yeah. to everyone. I mean, okay. Yeah, because yeah, the dance basically does the same thing, but doesn't affect others. Like, y'all yeah. aren't at risk at, at, of catching the dance like y'all would be on the sleet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to go for I'm gonna go for like. Hmm. I'm gonna go try to like uh, hit it, uh, 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 attack it, attack it with like my uh, Aurora Borealis. All right, roll to attack. Are you dual wielding? Uh, yes, I'm dual wielding right now. Yeah. All right, roll to attack for your first attack. You get advantage, so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, which means sneak oh, attack. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do get sneak no, attack. Okay, it does. He does get sneak attack. All right. Oh, it's time. Do you get sneak attack for each attack, or is it just one sneak attack per uh, oh, round of he combat? Gets, he gets sneak attack. I, I think oh. he gets sneak attack on each. Hold up. Let me check. Let me check sneak attack. It's only yeah. once per turn. Okay. Oh, okay. It's boring. Well, whatever. Go ahead. Okay. First strike is going to be with the Aurora. Well. I'm going to try to cut open my uh, its torso and one of its uh, in the middle part. All right. Like, no way. Uh, like near the neck, near the neck area. If I can. It's a worm. It. It's all neck or no neck. Worms don't have necks. Fourteen. 14. Uh. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Does not hit. What? It does not hit. It, uh, your your sword just uh, bounces off of its skin. All right, Borealis, it's your time to shine. Come on. Twenty four does hit. Twenty four. All right, sneak attack bonus is coming at ya. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, you forgot to roll with advantage. Oh. So we'll say then... that's the first attack. 24 is the first attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, <laughs> the, that's the Aurora. Roll uh, damage for Aurora plus oh. the sneak attack. Plus. Sneak attack's like an additional d6, I think. Uh, <laughs> right now, because of my level up? Oh, right, it's like 3. 9d6. 9d6? Jesus yes. Christ. <laughs> Welcome to hell, worm. You have lots of things to tell you about, oh, you know. Dude, I mean... It's the point I switched over to, like, mostly, like, spells that help everybody else. Because I can never do as much DPS as everybody else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you? Uh, are you? Using... Don't forget your other attack, Dave. Yeah, I'm not forgetting about the other attacks. It's like no, that's just gonna be super helpful now. Are you using uh, slashing or radiant damage for the Aurora? 
I'm going to go with Radiant for this one. All right. As you do Radiant, the uh, uh, basically a bolt of, electric, uh, of electrical magic like discharges, uh, bouncing off the uh, uh, bouncing off the. Uh, th actually, no. Wait, Radiant does work. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, something else. I was thinking uh, of a different type of magic. You, were you no. thinking about lightning strike? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's a net twenty. <laughs> oh, wait, All right, double roll double damage for the. Um... Do you technically can roll for? An... Oh yeah, d try to confirm it. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's confirm see. it. Let's confirm the it's other roll control. It actually happens. It didn't happen. Uh, when it does happen, it'll be great. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. So basically, like, uh, right now, doesn't that mean my sword combines? Uh, it's two, it, it doubles your, uh, it doubles your, uh, damage, uh, die. Like, roll twice the dice. What sword is in his offhand? He uh, has the Aurora in one hand and the Borealis in the other. Oh. Thirteen. Yeah, that actually, that is how that, um, it got combined last time. Yeah, you yeah. can combine it now if you want to. Let's go. Combine. <laughs> as you, uh, as you strike with the Bo uh, Aurora and then the Borealis, uh, a flash of light, you get the vision of two small, uh, of two small spirits of the swords awakening and, uh, uh, merging into one as now in your hand you hold the Aurora Borealis. First time in history, baby. Yeah, Lee's like, that was awesome. Thank you. Uh. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, this one, this time was but, uh, way cooler than the first time. That was amazing. I mean, it's still standing, but holy shit. That's the mm -hmm. Stom, that, that's made of Stom Metal, right? Yes. <laughs> you doing that's anything awesome. else for your attack? Um, uh, you still have no, bonus. No, I know, I have the bonus action. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if you can do bonus action. Maybe I'll go ahead and uh, do a hide. From the, from All right, the roll sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Oh wait. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. Roll sneak. Okay. 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 Come on. Okay. Um. Reliable. Talent would probably be in place since it's proficiency. So, All right, and and how are you sneaking? Like, what are you trying to hide behind or what? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and like uh throw some sand up into the air to like uh mask my presence. Like basically, like sort of like I try to like uh do like sort of like a like dig myself like a little hole so and like a and I bury her. All right, all right. All right, you bury yourself in sand and uh, try to hide. All right. Ultimate ninja technique. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Lee's turn. Uh, Lee is going to. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the? Uh, Lee holds up his hand, and several lights shoot out. Uh, let's see. Uh, like his hand begins to glow a rainbow, and out of all the colors, uh, red it, it spins around in a wheel, finally settling on red as a big f cone of fire. That luckily you're hiding, you buried yourself in the sand, so you're not gonna take uh, damage from this. Uh, but a large cone of fire. Uh, let's see. Failed save. Let's see. Dexterity. So, it's going. The purple worm is going to make a dexterity save, and it has disadvantage, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one sec. Let me see if it has disadvantage on dex. I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah. 
Yeah, disadvantage on dex. All right, so four. It definitely fails. Uh, so it's going to take uh, 10d6 uh, fire damage. 37 points of fire damage as this uh, as this brilliant beam of red hot uh, flames shoot out of uh, uh, Lee's what hand. What was that? Oh, uh, it's called prismatic spray. It's kind of a gamble. Uh, uh, basically, out, uh, I can fire like eight different uh, uh, types of uh, attack, but it, I, I don't really have a say on which one. Uh, the it's prismatic spray. It's a level seven uh, evocation spell. It is really cool. Uh, and that is going to be his turn, which means Gwaki, it is your turn. Gwakum Sockum Robots. Alright, I'm going to be right back, by the way. Alright. Gwaki! Gwakum Yeah, Prismatic Spray is a really neat spell. It's a wizard slash sorcerer spell. It is. Is it like is it like a more advanced version of Color Spray? Yeah, it is uh, essentially that powered up. Gotcha. No, I never seem to be interested in taking it. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, hey! it's really neat. you guys uh Gwaki uh, I'm starting to think we should just skip Gwaki's turn yeah he time skip go when he goes back yeah he yeah. can go when he gets back uh mm -hmm. so then it's the purple worm turn uh does it try worm? to attack or try to save from its dance well it's gonna try and attack Deve because Deve was an idiot who decided to bury himself in the sand right next to a purple worm which has tremor sense yeah I so, thought, I did so well in hiding i thought i did well in hiding it has disadvantage on attack yep 21 they were both the same. <laughs> D twenty one. The exact same. The twenty one hit. Yeah. She has like the highest uh, AC of, of us. So I mean, she, yeah, she is. It matches my AC. Really? All right. Glancing blow. You're gonna take half damage. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> now you see the powers of the sense of duelist in full play. 25 uh, divided by 2 rounded up would be 13. 13 points of damage. And also roll a dexterity now. Alright. Dexterity save? Yes. No. 13 whole points of damage. Boom, baby. Alright, you managed to avoid getting swallowed up as uh, this thing... Uh, Man, as this thing just comes crashing down on you, uh, you manage to avoid getting swallowed up. For its second attack, it is going to try and sw uh, swing its tail stinger at uh, Fortuna. Oh. Uh, Twenty-one to hit. I think my AC is lower. It's the lowest, so yeah, that hits. I have 15. Okay. That hits way hard. All right, you take 18 points of piercing damage and. Uh, oh, 18 points of damage. 63 points oh, of poisoning damage. Oh come on. 
Wait, 63 points of what? Poison. Oh my god. Uh, wait, 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 uh, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make a constitution saving throw. Hello? Hey! Make a I'm the one person who takes point at hey, it. Whose turn is it? Uh, it's the purple worms. Uh, 19... Uh, okay, that is... Alright, you just absolutely barely save right on the cusp, so you're taking half as much. So you're taking uh, 32, 30, yeah, 32 points of poison damage. So 40, 50. Okay. Yeah. And That's still less than a third yeah. of my health. Yeah. Uh, Dave tried to uh, bury himself to hide from this purple worm, which is blind and uses tremor sense. And so that didn't work, uh, and he almost got eaten. And uh, Fortuna just almost got seriously Wait. poisoned. Uh, Why don't you guys fly? It's your turn, uh, Guaki. Okay. Oh my god. Why? Yeah. There's no way for any of us to be detective. We're in the air. Huh. I guess that makes sense. I really wish that I had prepared. I wish that I had prepared fly then. <laughs> Uh, can I get in melee range of it? Yeah, you can get in melee range. Okay. Of course you can. Let me go ahead and, uh, roll my attack. Alright. Come on, let's see the big numbers. 18. Again, 18. Does hit. not hit. No, wait, that's glancing blow. Okay. So I'll take half damage. So that'd be... Seven. Seven points yeah. of damage. Keep forgetting to the. Oh right. Uh, twenty-seven to hit. Yes, that does hit. Okay. Uh, seventeen. All right. Uh, so you... All right. Seventeen to hit. Oh, nope. Hit. Okay. Eighteen was a glancing blow. 23 to hit. That does hit. Jesus, you have so many attacks. 18 damage. Um, I'm going to spend a key point to have it do a... Uh, which one am I going to do? <laughs> what? This is. I'm just going to do this just because it's funny. I'm going to have it do a strength check. Strength? Alright. Yeah. Is it a check or a save? A uh, save. Alright. Let me pull up my... 19! Does that pass? Hold on, give me a second. Okay, it passes, yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this thing has 28 strength. Yeah, that's fair. I was gonna... So, whenever something fails the strength check... It goes check, prone? My last hit oh. pushes it 15 feet forward. Oh man, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, it, uh, I thought you were going to try and do Stunning Strike. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have that. Oh well. Well, this thing has plus 11 constitution, so. Oh yeah, that's rough. That's yeah. even, yeah. Uh, Alright, so that means top of the order. Fortuna, your turn. Oh oh wait, uh, Fortuna, make it. did you do a, uh, a concentration check for the poison? Uh, uh, Fortuna, one, Fortuna, one, Fortuna. Okay. you need to make two concentration checks. The first check is going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, need to, I need to remember my bonus from War, because I get a bonus to concentration ca checks for yeah. Warcaster. Let's see. I think it's advantage. Yeah, I have advantage. Let's All see. Right. Uh, so you're going to make two rolls. One roll for the stinger itself and the second for the poison. Uh, let's see. The poison was 63. Let's see. 63 divided by 2 uh, rounded up was 32 divided by 2 would be 16. Okay, so the DCs are 10 and 16. Constitution rolls, and I have to I make them I think. double. Uh, let's see. Yep, I make them. Alright, uh, let's see. 
the middle ones are the ones that are cancelled out because it's, it's a pair of two and then a pair of two because I have advantage so the eight and the five are cancelled out they're just 23 and then 23 again <laughs> let's see Maintain. there's no way that I was above 23 uh, let me tain. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, they both save? Alright, still dancing. Uh, it's your turn. Fortuna. I just remembered I can't do another concentration spell while I'm making him dance. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, then again, it's totally fine. I mean, even mm. wild dancing is still hit, y'all, so... Yeah, 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 but I was gonna just make everybody fly, and that's not as useful as it dancing. Well, not everyone, I mean, uh, like, unless you want to waste more spell slots for, like, for, like someone else, because, like, you just usually use a fly in both we Well, and there's three party you. members, and, or there's three party members who cannot fly naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Because Lee did not prepare fly. Which is unfortunate for him. He's going to have to rely on someone else's fly, which might seem a bit disingenuous of the wizard of his caliber. <sighs> yeah. What? You're cutting out. I can't hear you. Yeah, you're really cutting in and out, Fortuna. Oh, lost Fortuna. There you are. Fireball. Alright. Uh, I need to roll dexterity. I think so. I need to actually look up actual fireball because I can't use the lead fireball blast. <laughs> A late fireball blast is concentration. Um, yeah, dexterity. So, oh man, one of those was a nat twenty. Oh, all right, so twelve. And I'm gonna make it at level eight. What? You what, Dad? Because why? <laughs> make it almost as good as a delay fireball. It's just that you can actually use it immediately. Uh, Alright, go ahead and roll damage. One sec. Four, five, six. Also, are you doing it on its face or like in the middle? Because two members are, two party members are within melee range. However, like they're in melee range. they within melee range of what? The face. I Fine, I'll do it in the middle. Um, but they are the rogue and the monk who have shit to be able to negate all damage if they succeed. Mm, eh, fuck it, I'll do it to the face. Uh, let's see, is it five? Five. Yeah, fuck it. That's my lucky number anyway. Alright, so I'm just gonna roll... Uh, 13d8. 64. 64 damage. And I need uh, Dave and Guaki to roll decks, I guess. That's. Let's see. 16. Let's see. That's 118. Mm. Fireball's not as good as everybody else. So, I only got 64 damage in. Guaki got more than 64 damage in. <laughs> I think. If you. The. Uh, uh, it, the, the fireball is no longer the impressive feat. <laughs> the <laughs> worm's <laughs> poison would have done more than 64 if you did... Or the worm's attack would have done more than 64 to you if you no, didn't succeed. No, Cause it, no it, it did 63. Well, it, there was also the uh, 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 stinger itself. Like, 63 okay. was just the poison. Yeah, but... The, whatever. Attack. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Attack its stinger, wherever. Alright, I'm, I'm waiting for the uh, others to roll their uh, deck saves. I'm back. What happened? Roll deck roll save. Roll 
Fortuna is casting fireball, so everyone needs to roll dex. Sa uh, save. <laughs> Uh, what else am I gonna do? Most of my spells are constant. Nineteen. Uh, no. Okay. At least you have monk shit to half that damage, so you'll only yep. take thirty-two. Oh, let me. And Dave, what did you roll? Devadru. God damn it! You said thirty-two. Yeah, thirty. You have monk shit to half. Uh, all monks get the. Uh, shit to half this so damage. So the damage was 64. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh. Eva. Dev. Devadru. No, Eva. Don't do this. Devadru. 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 Close enough. Devadru. Uwu. Uwu, what's this? <laughs> Uru, what's this? <laughs> Uh, well, Diva Uru, what's this? I would say we'll come back to uh, Dave whenever they come back, but then it's Dave's turn. <laughs> turn, yeah. <laughs> so let's just skip to Lee, and then we'll deal with Dave whenever their turn arrives. Lee is going to cast. Let's see. Oh. Oops. Mm hmm. Must have connection issues. I think everybody's having connection problems. Oh yeah, for sure. It's There's been something bad. wrong with my my internet today. <laughs> it's the man, I tell you. They're sucking our internet. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Lee is going to yell at you, uh, Gwaki, and say, Gwaki, grab that rock right there. Okay. And, uh, once you do, uh, he, uh, uh, he grabs a lodestone and some iron and smacks them together, and suddenly... Uh, Deve and the, uh, 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 worm fly up into the air. Both Deve and the worm? Yeah, it's a, uh, uh, and also sand. Lots of sand as well. They're flying how long is, how big and long is this worm? Fifty, oh, the, the worm is fifty feet long. Oh. Uh, the spell is fifty foot radius. And a hundred feet high. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can feel the. It, it feels like you're hanging on uh, to. It, it's called reverse gravity. And you were. You're caught oh. right on the edge. You are caught right on the edge. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, he, he casted reverse gravity, so. Uh, now they're, uh, the worm is stuck a uh, uh, hundred feet in the air. Ill okay. dancing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Gwaki, I, I would advise you, uh, um, I, I would advise you quickly come over here. I head over to Lee. And Lee, alright, uh, roll acrobatics to try and safely get out of the, uh, area without falling up. That's the, um, dex or strength? Uh, acrobatics. Nineteen. Alright, yeah, you managed to basically swing yourself off of the rock, which from your perspective is now on the ceiling. It's very disorienting. You managed to yeah. swing yourself forward out of the uh, radius of the uh, of the spell. And mm -hmm. uh, the says to you, Fortunity says, alright, uh, it's it can't do anything up there. Uh, if it gets out, it'll uh, fall to its it'll fall hopefully to its death. Uh, but you you can start doing things now. Okay. Yeah, uh, is what he says to Fortuna. Right. What? What did he say to me? It's a hundred feet in the air. It can't move because it's like it can't navigate anything because it's stuck in the air. But it's still dancing. 
Well, yeah, but what he's saying is you don't have to keep it dancing. You can actually do spells. It, it can't attack because it can't get at us. Yeah, yeah. But what else am I going to do anyway? Use ranged spells. Yeah, you... yeah, but I already did. I'm using fireball. All right, all right. Yeah, you, you could use another one and that'll probably kill it. Well, and Gwaki, it can't dodge it's... It cause it... Well, Gwaki, it's your turn. What are you going to do to try and attack well, it? Well, I'm... Um, hmm... Is there another rock for me to throw at it? Oh yeah, there's plenty of rocks. Okay, I'm probably just gonna use my uh, um, <laughs> bunch of rocks to throw at it. All right, make a ranged improvised weapon attack. Yeah. That's Jesus. a 19. Yeah, that's that, 24. That hits. Okay. Roll damage. Man, that was so... That would have been f badass if what it was... Would, how would I put damage? Like, what would be 1D what? Uh, let's see. It's a... What's your... Don't you have something special for if you use ranged... Uh, or if you use uh, improvised weapons? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. So it would be... Alright, I'll put in the same stats. But it wouldn't be a uh, proficient. Okay. So it would be... It would be this. 12 points of damage. That is really good for huck, uh, hurling a pebble... 100 yeah. feet into the air. <laughs> just, I just use it like oh. a... It's Deve, like a bit of a... Deve, roll okay. dexterity. Mm -hmm. Should I just finish with my turn then? Uh, let's get let's resolve Deve's real quick. 14. Alright, you're going to take 32 points of fire damage because uh, Fortuna fireballed you and you have that rogue shit to uh, half it. So you're taking a total of uh, 32 points of damage. And also, Lee used reverse gravity, so now you're uh, uh, in the air, but luckily you can fly, so it's not as much of an issue. We'll get to your turn once uh, we finish with Gwaki's. Okay, so let me go ahead and toss another one. That's a 12 to hit? Nope, does not hit. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit. Glancing blow. Okay. 8 damage. Alright. Uh, divided by 2 is... It's 4. 4, so... Um, yeah. Do I still have my, uh... I think it was Ring of Faith or Ring of Protection? Or... Uh, the Ring of Faith? Did I lose the... Yeah. I, no, you don't have the Ring of Faith. Okay. That, right. that was something you got from the, uh, vault. Uh, alright, so you managed to do a decent amount of damage just by throwing rocks. Uh, it is now Deve's turn. Deve, you are currently in the air. Uh, there is sand, uh, everywhere. The worm is flailing at the top of this force, which is a hundred feet in the air. Uh, what do you do? Divadru. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Both you and the worm are a hundred feet in the air. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, wait, do I have advantage against the worm? Uh, yes. Because it is dancing, it is stuck in the air, unable to move, it's essentially prone. You have advantage. So go ahead and roll attack. Roll to attack. Dave. <sighs> uh 
Uh, yeah, no. Uh, there's a uh, a lot of cool wizard spells that I never get to use because I very rarely play a wizard strong enough to do it. You have advantage, Thief. Don't forget. That's sixteen no, to hit. No, that doesn't hit. Uh, you try to uh, uh, you try to hit it, but uh, the reversal of gravity is too disorienting. Uh, it is unable. Um, to... wait. Huh? Uh, I still okay. have my other so thing what? to attack it with. Well, yeah, but you're okay. only holding one weapon right now. Oh, oh, like oh yeah, I was going to say this like I'm because you. Like I... You merged the yeah, swords. Yeah, like I was gonna pull out like my pain of blood. Okay, I'll say that'll be a bonus action though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Roll to attack. Mhm. Mm Please sneak attack. That hits. Okay. But let's see. God, 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 God. God. Okay, yeah, it hits. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm activating the band. Alright. Oh. Oof, those are horrible rolls. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What's the Bane of Blood do? Is it, uh... So... It, it gushes blood. Let's see. What's let's see. That is... Yes. Oh, shit! <laughs> what happened? Okay, Dave, how do you want to do this? Wow. That was just, that was one point over enough. Wow. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that was one point over. Great. That's awesome. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that, that was, I, I, I to describe it. Yeah, how do you want to do this? Because uh, that uh, was one point to... over. <laughs> Alright, I basically go and, like, artistically, after, like, missing with, like, my Aurora Borealis sword, I merely go and be, like, I look at, like, and, like, a falcon point of view and just be, like, this nice little dagger to break you. And I launched the dagger right at at him, like, at the, this where I stabbed him at with the Borealis before. Alright. And then, like, really threw it at him hard. Okay. And it drains the life out of him as I just simply you, go and pick up my sword, well, my dagger. Okay, so you throw the uh, you throw the dagger at him and uh, with enough force to actually push him just slightly over the edge, but due to his weight, his entire body starts sliding uh, out of the area of the reversal of gravity, and he falls a hundred feet down uh, to the ground. Uh... Nobody else knows this but you, but it was dead before it hit the ground. And as it hits the ground, the impact, it just fucking caves in on itself and explodes. Uh, like, it just... It is... Its entire innards, like, explode out of its mouth due to the impact. Uh, and... Uh... You actually see something uh, shimmering in the sunlight uh, when you, when Lee drops the spell and you fly down. There's something glimmering in the sunlight uh, through all the uh, viscera. Thing, Dave. Mhm. And the uh, fight is over. Woo! Yeah. Good job. I, I didn't realize I had to state that the fight was over after the uh, <laughs> purple <laughs> worm fucking <laughs> exploded. <laughs> yeah. He a mission complete.
<laughs> we need the noise. We need to like. Da 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 da. Yes, the victory fanfare. Yeah. If it I, doesn't happen, we're afraid that like a, a higher level and then a bigger purple worm come. I'm kidding. No. It just comes and just eats the smaller one. It and, was the baby. And then a rock comes and starts eating the viscera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ki I'm kidding. Uh, no, you uh, you have killed a purple worm. You've legitimately killed a purple worm. Whatever. I'm gonna go grab the thing because Dave seems like too stupid to. So. All right. Uh, it seems to be a circlet with a sapphire on it. It's a platinum circlet with a sapphire on it. It is actually uh around the arm of a corpse, uh, which is mostly digested. Alright, well, let's bring this back. Alright, as you touch it, you feel the tingle of magical energy on the, uh, circlet. Cool. I'm gonna stick it in my bag. Alright, you do that. I'm also gonna stick the arm in my bag. The rotten arm? Yeah. The rotten, partially digested arm? Yep. Okay. Might be useful. It is the, uh, uh, it is the, the right fives. arm. Not the left, so you cannot fucking Frankenstein Deev. I know that's what you one of the things you were thinking. Wait, what were you thinking I was thinking? I thought you were gonna Wait, Frankenstein Deev. How much how much of a corpse is here actually? Uh about a third. It is like of what? Now it is like from Here's a thing. It is, is like from the left it is like f from the left shoulder down to the bottom part of the right rib. Uh, uh, the bottom part of the ribs on the right side is about how much. Okay. Can I can I stu can I make like a medicine check to like study it? All right. Uh, roll medicine. So I'm more familiar. Fourteen. Uh, it was humanoid. Uh, in judging by the skull, it was not a uh, dragonborn. But that's all you can figure. Okay. Uh, it's too digested to be able to tell anything beyond that. All right. Is it close to night time? Uh, I'll say that the uh, uh, sun is starting to go down. Oh, I wanted to also thank Lee for the uh, genius idea of sun. Did I take the wrong yeah. spell? Damn it. You take the, well, you so, can do a long rest and uh, swap it out. Yeah, well, you know. no, I I probably shouldn't just grab this. Uh, I was going to cast um, Create Undead. Oh. I don't think there's <laughs> enough Undead to do that. No, but there is enough for Animate Dead, but apparently I didn't take Animate Dead. Oof. Yeah, no, it's there's not enough to. Uh... And it, it is specified that with animate dead, you don't need like a full corpse. That's been uh, specified uh, over. Wait, uh... but I think for eight undead, you do need a full corpse for it. So. Uh, let me check the. Animate dead is a very strong magic card as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see, create undead. Uh... Create undead creates ghouls, where animate dead creates like skeletons and. Zombies, I feel like animate dead makes sense that you don't need a full corpse, but like create undead says you need corpses, so uh, let's see. I think it makes more sense. I just need yeah. to grab animate dead next time. Not to be confused with animate dead. <laughs> Summon uh undead waifus. I mean Hatsino me Hats Ah, <laughs> uh, I was trying to see if uh, I was looking through it to see if you could use it to animate the corpse of the purple worm, but it's too big. Yeah, yeah no, it, it, it's a humanoid corpse. Oh, okay. I think there are ways to create undead of other types, but I think yeah. there's like no. Push, push, uh, could... hey, hey, what's up? I don't know if there's a specific spell for that or not, but the. For, Yo, what's up? You y'all finished the uh, fight. Fortuna got the uh, circlet, uh, which is slightly magic, or which is radiates magic energy, uh, and was trying to figure a way to 
animate a corpse y'all found. But well, yeah. I was going to, but I I got the wrong spell. Yeah, uh, too you, powerful like, for this corpse. Could you identify the magic coming from that? Sure. I'll cast identify. All right, you cast identify. Uh, you find that this is a uh, this is a charm. Uh, or not, I don't mean charm as in like charming. I mean this is a charm as in a magical bauble. Uh, this is a circlet. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this is a circlet uh, that has quite a few effects. Uh, well, it only has uh, about three effects. One is it makes someone immune to all charming effects. Two, it uh, makes someone immune to all shape-changing effects. And three, it will, uh, it will uh, increase the uh, power of uh, lightning... Uh, damage by uh, tenfold. Wait, lightning damage? damage? Yes, lightning damage. By tenfold? Ten. So, that is if you were... If you had a uh, blue dragonborn on your team, you could probably make the... How much is a breath attack do at your um, level? Currently, right now, 5d6 because I'm now so, at level 17. So, if you had a... Uh, aren't you all level 17? Yes. Yeah, we should be. Okay. So yeah, if you had a, if you were a blue dragonborn, you'd be able to uh, and you wore it, you would be able to do fifty. And Can't you oh, change yourself no, no. into a blue dragonborn? I don't Not have anymore. The, I he know. doesn't have the stuff yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, right. I think anymore. But you realize how powerful that would be. Okay, let me just. Yes, I know how powerful this is. Given to the wrong hands. No, or in this case, it just means like the final boss is something like even more terrifying. That, like even it's this is giving thing. us a power of. This isn't our thing. We're gonna give it back. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So theoretically, due to the abilities of dragons, dragons can uh, a dragon would be able to wear this. Due to the like shape shifting and powers of dragons, yes, they, full blooded dragons. Yes, a full dragon could wear this. Yes, that means a ancient blue dragon could wear this. Yes, which means an ancient blue dragon could use a sixteen d ten lightning breath attack. One hundred sixty with this. That means one hundred and sixty. That means theoretically, this could make somebody do as like. 1,600 damage. Yeah, no, I know. It's powerful. Uh, can I wear it? Sure. Quirky. Anyone can game, wear you it. Didn't take the right, you didn't take the right monk path. Yeah, you're not the avatar. I know. That is actually a thing you could do. I know. Yeah, that's, why, that's, that's why I said. It was. It's uh, the path most of the boring el monk path. This trust he picked the literally the most the boring monk path. I think that <laughs> Gwaki's monk path is pretty neat. It is. I mean, yeah, yeah, it is just literally it, but the, it, the it's, star it's, platform. It's very solid utility. Yeah, like, I get to stop people, pro people, prone people, uh, push people away. The other ones away. can do stuff like, like be ninjas, or like shoot fire from their hands, or like do Kamehameha <laughs> waves. That's just, that's just, you know, like fancy stuff. It's all about you be the technique. Avatar or Naruto or fucking Dragon Ball Z, and you decided the one that's like You're a Saito wrestler. He chose Saitama, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. He goes all right, the don't doubt. Exactly. Remember, <laughs> remember, Gwaki in one attack did more damage than your fireball. No, he actually didn't, though. He, <laughs> I was misreading it. He did like, like 30, 40 something. I did 60. Well, uh, and another time. We'll get back. Anywho, uh, you got this thing. You set. Uh, it's, we'll go back. All right. Uh, you have to camp out one more night to, uh, but you managed to uh, make it back. Uh, Speaking of, I I just want to uh, do this. I'm going to identify the one magic item I've been trying to figure out for years. What's that? Uh, I'm gonna identify my fucking bone amulet thing. Bone amulet. Oh, the, the, okay. Yeah, no, that's the, the amulet of skeleton. The amulet of skeleton. unbreaking bones. Uh, oh, as yeah. long as you wear this, you cannot do damage to skeletal creatures. Okay. See, I thought that's what it was. 
Yeah. That's it? Oh they, you yeah. just can't damage skeletal creatures? Yeah. Okay. Do you I remember how long I was wearing that? Yeah, and you remember how many times you fought a skeleton and were wondering why it had so much health? I don't remember fighting a skeleton. It was only in push one -on -one with the skeleton. I think yeah. we fought skeletons like twice. You fought- times, Okay, yeah. you fought a lot of skeletons, but they were all within the same arc. Yeah, no, we, fought a that's lot. Why. We, we fought a lot. No, I think there were like two major necromancy arcs, right? No, there was only there one. Was one. Oh, no, no. Okay, that. there was a major necromancy arc. There was the necromancy Mage. apple. But then there was also the necromancy coming from the... Fandolin. The, the, the first town. The first town. Yeah, Fandolin. Yeah. Well, Fandolin was... Fandolin. Yeah. Uh, well, were no, there, there were no were skeletons. There skeletons in there, or was it only... It was zombies and zombies. ghouls. Okay. I'm getting some PTSD from that <laughs> necromancy, uh, thing. What? The you should play a necromancer next the, time. And, and the, um, and, and the train, the <laughs> uh, it's all coming back to oh, me. The train. Oh, yeah. oh, God. Oh, God. You remember how Don't forget the I skeletal dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Remember, remember about the former vizier? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, Schrody. I'm just, I'm just. Well, yeah, no, I, he blankly. was gonna be the second one. I actually forgot about. Uh, well, to be fair, he did the escape guy. the astral plane it, when the zombies attacked Fandolin. Like he, yeah. He so did... he could have been considered this part of the same arc. Yeah. But when I was saying two arcs, I actually meant him and Fandolin. I had actually completely forgotten. About the necromancy. You had apple. you had completely uh, blocked it out <laughs> of your memory. Blanked out Pacelli. Well, to be fair, you weren't there for half of it. Yes, that is very much true. Oh gosh, how would I become? Oh gosh, oh becoming a necromancer. Uh. You can play a necromancer. Yeah. You can start multiclassing into a necromancer. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll play a necromancer in the next, in the next campaign, though. I think yeah. I'll do that. I think I'll be necromancy in the next campaign. Oh, really? that's gonna be... Dwarf necromancer. Oh, hey, you could be a Durger. You could be Everyone a... knows that I hate necromancy so much, but... You could be a Durger. I... Well, yeah. Necromancy is actually a really cool spell set. Oh, wait, 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 it will be an interesting relationship with my character because they're going to be a cleric of life. Oh yeah, the Raven Queen. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that would actually be great character dynamic. Okay, I, you I know what? That would be sure, absolutely. You gotta do it. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> right, let's get back on focus. Yeah, let, talk let, about let's start. get back on focus. When you the, um... when you enter the town again, uh, as y'all are entering the town, quickly roll perception. Alright. They're lying anymore. Uh, it's empty. Everybody's dead. Empty. Oh, God. 31. Alright, 19, 24, 31. You all notice this. As you're walking uh, through the desert to the town, uh, you, for a moment, you thought you could see, you, for just a moment, you thought that the town didn't look as uh, decadent as it does as it actually does, but chalk it up to being a mirage. Uh, now, you uh, make your way to the town. Uh, the line is not nearly as long as it was before. It's only a couple uh, more people. This time you only have to wait about half an hour in order to uh, speak to her. Uh, but she says, oh, you're back. Yes. So, did we you... We always come back. Perfect. Always. Perfect. And did you, uh... Get... Unless we're challenged to a duel by a dwarf. That was one time. I feel like I'm missing some context, but nonetheless, <laughs> uh... I'm guessing you retrieved it. Because if yeah. not, then I could have you executed. I Don't... think so. Uh, we I, like, toss the... To I, I just, like, take the Don't ring out of my it. bag. And I toss it into the air. You're tossing <laughs> it? Catch it? No! <laughs> Roll dexterity no, to no. catch. No, I play, like... I do, like, the, like, Zelda thing. Like, toss it into the air, like, slightly above my head. Like, Okay, you're holding Showing. it in the air. 
Yeah, but it like floats like two feet above my hand. No, because oh, okay. of like the graphic toss. animation. Right, it's just okay. All right, it's like that. No, yeah. So you hold it in the air, and she says, "Ah, yes, perfect." And uh, she hops out of her uh, chair and uh, casually skips over to you to uh, grab it and gently places it on her head. Who's on somebody's a arm? Wave comes by. No, I said it was a circle. It was around someone's arm. Like it got caught yeah. on the arm uh, while they were okay. being digested. I mean, I, I thought it made more sense if it was a, a, a like a Bye. crown thingy. Anyway, I just uh, thought it was funny. Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, uh, she no. Says, this thing is real powerful. Oh, uh, yes, and I would appreciate it if you don't speak about it. Uh, uh, I do have a question. I just, like, um, gesture like zipping my lips, like and what? <laughs> What in the who would have? Do you have any enemies, of that you are aware of who would have thought of trying to take it? Uh, we do not need a, a side quest. That's a need to we know basis, and you are not need to know. The less you know, we finish the quest. We don't need a side quest. Just shush. Exactly. The less shush. you know, the better. You know. Okay. Yes, and the more llamas we can have. Um. Anyway. Perfect. So, uh, whatever it is, yes, you'll have my support. She takes off her signet ring and tosses it to you. It's a uh, sapphire. Cool. Mm. Thank you. Uh, uh, don't mention it. I mean it. If you mention it to anyone, I could hold you to high treason. Um, we though, won't mention it to oh. anybody for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Anything else you need before we go? I would appreciate it if you grabbed some new clothes because those are absolutely hideous. Okay. You are dismissed. And she uh, hops back to her uh, sh where she oh was. Oh my god. Like fucking, ugh. What? No, I'm just like thinking of her as like <laughs> That, like, the way she said that just made me imagine her, like, stop imagining her the way I was and imagine her as, like, one of those, like, prissy, like, fashion gurus who's, like, just, like, uh... <sighs> anyway. All right. Like, uh, Devil Wells Prada type of person. <laughs> I was thinking, like, 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 uh, like, what's her face? Um, photo finish or... Mark Beak's mom from DuckTales. Uh, so, you, uh, so, Lee purchases a, uh, couple rooms in the, uh, inn. Luckily, there's enough for, that y'all don't have to share. Uh, and cool. Let's buy some... our outfits. Yeah, yes. let's get some clothes. Alright, uh, <sighs> these are a lot more flashy and a lot more expensive than the, uh, ones, uh, that you currently have. Uh, they are, you find a pair of, uh, silk genie pants, which are pretty nice, uh, and, like, there is not a single thing that does not have either gold or gems in it. pants. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, I was, I was trying to find a picture, I was thinking of, like, what Aladdin wears, except, um, it's just complete gold. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> Aladdin three. You you do find you you actually do find a, a cape that the inside Aladdin is made of were... shiny gold. No, it was Aladdin three. You're right. Uh, oh, what do I find? You find a, a cape that is uh, shiny on the it's the outside is like a uh, sort of a, a fuchsia, a beautiful uh, Tyrian purple. And the inside is made of uh, golden silk, and it is constantly oh. blowing in the wind, even if there is no wind to. No wind. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. It, it's called a cape of blowing. It serves no purpose other than to look dramatic. Yes, perfect. You already have a cape. No, that cape hasn't been made yet. Yeah. What about the mimetic cape? Well, that's Deves. Oh. Yeah, no. They haven't had a lot of capes. You haven't time. had a cape. Mm. I wanted a cape. Yes. Well, here's a cape. You get it. Anyway, we all get outfits. We get our things. Yes, you, you all look fabulous. 
Uh, Guaki gets basically the the uh, Gerudo warrior gear. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let me pull up a picture. Cause I think that. Uh, yes. Yeah. This is what uh, Guaki ends up finding. Oh. And it looks really well with your golden gauntlets. Best. Uh, but yeah, no, you, uh, find it, you, everything looks, everything's good. Uh, night falls, the moon rises, everyone's starting to get to sleep in their inn. Guaki, you are, uh, cradling the egg, feeling its heartbeat. And then, you hear a small crack. Oh, no. Looking at the egg, you can see a crack is starting to form. And it goes, it spreads, and poking its face out is a green snout. It seems to be having trouble getting through anything else out of the egg, but once it gets its snout out, it starts making noise like. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh. Are you supposed to, like, hatch it for it like a wizard, or are you supposed to let it hatch itself like a bird? Or is it the other way around? I think that's up to Gwaki to decide. Oh, what did you say? Are you going to break its shell for it, or are you going to make it break itself out? Oh, I'm going to have to break itself out. Alright. Uh, it takes... Uh, uh. <laughs> what? No, good. yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Okay. It takes about an hour before it's uh, able to make the hole wide enough. Uh, it keeps pecking around the edges to make the hole uh, bigger and bigger until finally it's able to uh, uh, get its claws out and uh, uh, finally break free. Uh her wings have the white spots that they that you've that you're familiar with uh though judging by its health it seems to not be affected it seems as though uh the egg kept it from dying uh, and allowed it to recover guaki mm. the first thing it sees when it opens its when she opens her eyes is you what do you Aww. name this dragon? It is now time to name her. I think... Hmm, I sit down with the pet a bit, pet it a bit while I think of a name. And... She, enjo the name. she enjoys the petting and uh, quickly scurries out of your lap to go eat a rat. Yeah. I'm gonna name her Shur Shurvia. Alright, can you spell that in the uh, notes? Yep. Alright. And I think that is a, a good place to uh, end this session. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff done. Yep. Defeating a worm for the sake of the lightning princess of the Tiamat Daughters. Yep. Getting a super OP item. Yeah, if that was combined with like a me as a dragon moon of, of blue, yeah. then that would just be like... Prepare yourself <sighs> to be unleashing the power of lightning twice every day, possibly. Too bad there's no clue where it is in the future. Yeah. Have we, um... Ended the stream? No, not yet. I was just uh, about to. That's that's how you spell uh, her name. All right, S H U L V A. All right, Shulva. Shulva. Yeah, Shulva. Shulva. All right. Shulva. Uh, and right. you wanted to say one last thing before the stream ended? Yeah, like apparently, 
Apparently, the oddball couple of Fortuna and Deva is very much a real thing, possibly. Literally, both of us have children with different people. <laughs> I know. I know. That makes it even hilarious. It's possible that she just assumed that Deve was the f uh, uh, parent. She doesn't know how uh, a human... She, she might not know how humans would uh, reproduce. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, I'm going to end the stream now. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, Have a wonderful day. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Tune in next time.